in this video number 16 uh, we will show the the post design or of the frame ce or the after running the frame ce so the drafting index f has been completed i will just click ok and after running the excel tabulated design schedule will show so this is the member length member number and also we have here the tabulated voting design so this this is it the width and the depth and the thickness and the, also the rebar okay also the concrete volume is this and the rebar kilogram is this also for the column we have this tabulated column rectangular column design and also there is a you have to locate locate this warning it says that change the design of this column so this is the column 65 member number 65 so you can do that later and also for the beam this is the the rebar of the beam and the section okay so i will just uh, save this one save uh, i mean this is already saved but i will just uh, save it later so i will go to the output so this is the this is the folder output same with the model uh, file name so i will go to the this this is the drawing or index file you can open it with your CAD so I will just let's say go to beam size plan open so I have my CAD and this is the so in this case you have to delete this uh, element because th this is the element of the slab diaphragm so as you can see uh, we have we have this sketch so you can you can uh, adjust it in your framing plan so because this drawing is in uh, 3d model so this this is the beam uh, level one two and three so this that is the sizes and the bottom bar of the beam is this i will just click the open this is the bottom bar so you 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 have to do the uh, drawing adjustment but the sketch is already here so this is the sketch so in this case we have this sketch so 316 so this is the bottom bar so in this case we have here 316 but here we have your 420 but here we have also we have here 316 so in this case uh, because we take the 16 mm and the 20 mm so frame ce uh, use the optimized rebar diameter so in this case we can convert it to 16 mm or we can convert it to 20 mm or for for easy or or for easy design process you can select let's say 20 mm for the entire uh, rebar of, of all the elements okay or, or also you can get the moment share in moment uh, envelope or the maximum and you can check the uh, rebar on your own uh, checking or th th that's also the other procedure if you want to optimize 
your design but the forces is already there so i will just uh show where to find that forces so in this case we are dealing with the uh, design output of frame ca so this is it the bottom bar layout and also for the column size this is the column size and the footing also i will open this one so this is our uh footing okay so this is the output and for the stirrups and the bar is already there and but but the stirrups here for the beam we have to comply the seismic detailing so this is the the stirrups here is is in is in gravity uh derivation but we have to do the spacing to be uh, adequate in the uh, seismic detailing the at support the over 4 and at the mid span is the over 2 spacing okay so this is the uh, this is also the pdf for the beam design and or also for the column we have here for the column okay so remember this number of legs we have the excel to to check this number of legs so in this case the frame ca didn't yet do the shear reinforcing uh ductile detailing so we have to check it separately in smrf mode or in uh, excel in my excel uh file or you have you have your own excel you have to check that using that formula in the code okay so if you want to tabulate the design for the permit you have you have to get it uh get this tabulated design and also for the analysis report you have to get it here at analysis at member process so at here you, you can uh, click this load or oh, this is the analysis output so you have to click this one it will show you the analysis output or analysis output result so this is all of this is dealing with all of the forces so at every load cases and also for other uh, report you have to check this one let's say this envelope please select at this one number we just click ok so Oh, or I will I will select all and I will click the envelope all of the forces with this load combinations is will be given to us by frame CE okay so this is for the beam this is for the share and moment all of that uh, if you want to do the manual checking you have that forces okay so if you do the envelope 
meaning the enveloping forces at every station will be given to you if you want to or the maximum the maximum uh, forces at every load combinations will be given to you at these locations left moment left shear mid span right moment right shear and also for the column is also at this portion so you have you can do your own checking you have here actual and moment forces at uh, node 1 and node 2 meaning at uh, bottom and top okay so i will just uh, save this file for our uh, for our analysis report so let's say this is forces so we want to avail this i will just share it for affordable prices so i will just uh, save us this this is for the design report so you have you do the design report folder and also just click ok so this is the end of the tutorials this is complete tutorial so for the drawings you can do the column schedule uh, you can do the footing schedule you can revise the drawing to, to have your own uh, drawing template but the sketches are already given to us by the frame cd so it's uh, uh thank you for watching this tutorials okay uh, please refer it if you found it uh, helpful be sure to other engineers. Thank you.